to mg here normal contact n1 and this mg this surface is smooth now what are the forces this will be tension this will be tension tension the string t it will have acceleration a2 this will have acceleration a1 let's calculate and what about magnitude in terms of magnitude both of the same directions will be different horizontal this is vertical second one so what is the acceleration equal to 2 mg by 2 m plus m no so this is g by 3 uh, what is the acceleration a2 is equal to a2 should be equal to minus g by 3 j cap what about a1 a1 will be g by 3 I can. <coughs> what is the acceleration of center of mass? I am. Let, let me proceed like this. This is m a one bar, two m a two bar by m plus two m. A one is g by three high cap minus two m g j cap by three m. M get cancelled, so this will be g by nine i cap 2g by 9 j cap now what is the net external force acting on system as i have formula net mass of system m plus 2m into acm so this will be 3m sir in the first step it is 2g by 3 yes sir Oh, here, two uh, G by three. It is two G by three. Two G. Uh, everywhere I'll make it two. Two G by, and this will be four G. It will come. <laughs> yeah, two G. This will be four G. Uh, one three. You can. Take it out so mg i'll take I'll, I'll bring outside total mg this will be uh, this will be 2 by 3 i cap 4 by 3 j cap hmm. okay in laws of motion i used to say like this no what is it uh, to calculate acceleration you see what i did the interpretation little bit you see that uh, what you're going to write the total uh, why the blocks will move because of the uh, resultant force 2 mg is acting therefore the acceleration 2 mg by mass so what is 2 mg shall i say it's a force acting on system what, what this center of mass is telling what is the net external force acting on system mg 2 by 3 i cap minus 4 by 3 j cap but what we took here you look at this we just say like a 2 mg force acting that's why they're accelerating why the blocks are accelerating the blocks are accelerating because of this external force acting on system i think there's a lot of difference sir which one is right which one is wrong there we were bothered about only the motion of the blocks in laws of motion here we are bothered about the motion of the system system means what here m and 2m and uh, now uh, what makes the acceleration of center of mass to move along x axis? From where do that has come? From where do this has come? I think these are some very good questions for the pen. We can answer using this one because here if i if i ask you what is the net force acting on system don't say 2 mg what to calculate acceleration of block the force responsible for acceleration block we are telling if i say what is the net force acting on system is not 2 mg this will be the net force if only 2 mg no then the center of mass should shift only vertically down but it's not like that how center of mass is moving you look at this one 2 i cap so it is having something like uh, okay here's this one come for this i cap minus j cap 
So this is heavier mass, so center of mass, let it be somewhere here. And how do it will move? High cap minus J cap, somewhere here, the center of mass of system will be moving. The star mark I'm taking here. Okay, now I, I'll ask you, this tension, is it an internal force? The tension is not internal force here. Because what makes the system to move along the axis? This tension only. So therefore, here what will happen? To identify which force is internal, external, what happens? This particular concept of center of mass will help us here. Because we know which forces are responsible for displacement of center of mass. External forces. So the tension is not here, internal force. So I can categorize now the forces here, whether they are internal or external. Because this is something very important for us. How do I can categorize? by analyzing this thing. So what what we had in laws of motion till now, what is the axation of block? We just select a 2 mg is responsible for the motion of the block. Yeah, that one. Uh, what makes the block M to move? <coughs> the tension only. And the tension acting on the pulley, what happened? The pulley is at rest, no? So this is nothing to do. Okay, got this one. So uh, here, a lot of difference is there. So students often con confuse here. So the reason for that, when you enter into the collisions, there what happen? We should know when you say momentum is conserved. So we should know which is internal external. No? So when you don't know which is which forces are internal external. So I think no way you can manage. See if I give two particles, everyone will solve. If I give a some system where two three blocks and one wedge is there or spear is there, no, there the real trouble starts. And definitely you must be in a position to identify whether net force, external force acting on system is zero or non -zero. If it is non, if it is zero, you can conserve momentum, all other things. If non-zero, you should not conserve momentum. That is our goal for which we are trying it. Got the idea? This one? Okay, let's take the, the next one. Let the person walk on a 